David, a man who was warned of the Philistines' threat to Kila, decided to attack them. The Lord told him to go and save Kila, but David's men were afraid. The Lord then instructed David to go to Kila and fight the Philistines, inflicting heavy losses on them and saving the people of Kila. Saul, who had been informed of David's escape, pursued David and his forces. David learned that Saul was plotting against him and asked Abiathar the priest to bring the effort. David asked if the citizens of Kila would surrender to Saul, and the Lord answered that they would. David and his men, around 600, left Kila and moved to various locations, including the desert strongholds and the hills of the desert of Surf. While in Horish, David learned that Saul had come out to take his life. Saul's son Jonathan helped David find strength in God and promised to be king over Israel, with David as second to him. Jonathan went home, but David remained at Horish. The Zephites approached Saul at Kibia, asking if David was hiding in the strongholds at Horish. Saul agreed to help by gathering more information about David's hiding places and tracking him down among all clans of Judah. They set out to Zeph ahead of Saul and David and his men were in the desert of Maine. As Saul and his forces were approaching, a messenger came to inform him that the Philistines were raiding the land. Saul broke off his pursuit and went to meet the Philistines, who called this place Selah Hamalekah. David then lived in the strongholds of Engedi, 